Okay, here I am back in Visual Studio and I'm going to demonstrate four more string member functions. String compare, strn compare, strn cat, and strn copy. So let's start with string compare. So what I've already done here is I have, I'm going to have the user enter two words. So I, I'm asking for, I have these four character arrays declared. I don't know if I'm using them all, but I'm going to get a word from the, two words from the user. So I'm going to get word and word one from the user and print them back. And then I'm going to test if they're the same. So the way you use string compare is you just test if strcmp, and that's the function called a string compare, and it takes two arguments, which are character arrays. So the first one I'm going to pass it is word, and the second one I'm going to pass it is word one. Another way you could use it is to compare two literals, which we will do after we do this. So I'm going to just print a message that, uh, that they are the same. If uh, string compare returns a zero, I'm going to print the message that the words are the same. Actually, I will put the, the same. And I'm going to have an else here that's going to say not the same if they're not the same. So let's put that in. All right, so I'm just going to get two words from the user, and I'm going to use string compare to compare the two words. If they are the same, I'm going to print the same. And if they're not the same, I'm going to print not the same. So let's test it. So I'll just enter the word hello, and I'll enter the word hello again. And yes, of course, they are the same. But keep in mind that uh, uppercase letters and lowercase letters are not the same in C. So if I said hello, and then I say hello with an uppercase letter, of course, it's going to return that they, it's going to figure out that they are not the same. So it's not really intuitive that it returns a zero, but that's the way string compare works. All right, so now I'm going to make another condition, and I'm going to use string compare to compare a literal. So I can get a word from the user, and then I can compare to see if the word is hello. So instead of passing another two different arrays to the function, I'm passing an array, which is a character array, which is a string, and a literal string, and making that comparison. And I don't really want to make the other comparison as well, so I'm just going to comment that out. So now let's try it. Um, actually, I'm going to comment out getting the second word as well because that's just going to be confusing. So I'm just going to print it, get a word from the screen, and print they are the same if the word that I enter is hello, and not the same if the word I enter is anything other than hello. So let's test it. Enter hello. They are the same. We can test it again. I enter help, and obviously help and hello are not the same. So that is a one of one uh, way that you can use string compare, uh, and you can use it to either compare a character array with another character array or a character array with a literal string. Now we're going to move on to strn compare. So strn compare works very similar to string compare, only in strn compare, instead of passing it, we're going to do it with two words now again. Instead of comparing the entire string, what you do is you compare only a certain number of characters. And you say how many characters you want to compare. So the function call is strncompare, and it's part of the string.h library. And I'm going to compare word with word1, and I'm going to compare the first three characters. And if the first three characters are the same between word and word1, then it's going to print the message the same. Otherwise, it's going to print the message not the same. Okay, so let's uh, enter two words. Let's enter the word uh, bold and bolder. Now, clearly, those are two different words, 
but they come out to be the same because the first three characters are the same in both of those words. We can try it again with uh, another set of words. Um, we could use cart and car. So again, they're going to come out the same because the first three letters in car and cart are the same. All right, so that's how you use string compare and str and compare. And I'm going to comment that out and move on to the next function. The next function I'm going to demonstrate is strn cat. Let's just remember what string cat does. String cat is like making uh, compound words. So if I enter two words and then when I'm done, I'm not going to print the words after I enter them. I'm just going to enter two words and then I'm going to strcat onto the first word, the second word. So onto word, I'm going to put word one on the end of it. So um, this is just a, re a review. And in the end, what I'm going to have is word one is word two is going word one is going to stay the same and word the word is going to become the compound word so let's test this and see what happens so i enter a word skate my second word is board so the word now has become skateboard and word one is still board. And I will change the word here to remind you that that was word one. All right, so that's how string cat works. It's, it's uh, like making compound words and it always, the first argument is the one that gets the second argument added on to the end of it. And of course you can do it with uh, two character arrays or a character array and a literal. So now let's uh, talk about str and cat. What strncat does is it takes word one and concatenates, it takes the first argument and concatenates the second argument onto it. However, you just tell it how many characters you want it to concatenate. So let's uh, try this. So I'm going to once again enter the word skate and my second word will be board. And if you notice, my word has become skate bow because I've only concatenated the first three characters from board. And word one, of course, has remained unchanged and is still uh, board. So the last function I'm going to demonstrate now is strn copy. Now, str copy, string copy, is used to uh, make an assignment. So if I declare, actually, let's. Uh, comment everything else out here and start from the beginning. Okay, so I have this uh, character array and I can probably copy it from down here where I use string copy. So let's remember how string copy works. String copy is like making an assignment statement. So it's like I declare word three and if I don't initialize it at declaration, then I can't say later word three equals cake. What I need to do later is I need to use a string copy function to assign cake to it. Now, what I can also do is I can use string copy to assign one uh, character array to another. So I could also assign word three to word four. So in this case, I'm, I, I'm assigning cake to word three and then I'm assigning, oh, I don't have word four, so I'll do word two. I'm assigning whatever word three is, is to word over to word two. So actually in the end, they should both be the same word. And this is just like saying that word two equals word three, which of course we've already figured out is not allowed in the language C. All right. So let's uh, try this. All right, so word three is cake and word two is cake. They're both the same word. Now the way strn copy works is strn copy, I'm going to make this a, a bigger word. Um, let's make it the word uh, 
skateboard. Okay, so this is skateboard, and the way STRN copy is, it says, I want you to assign onto word two, word three, but I only want you to assign so many characters. So I only want to assign five characters. Okay, so you take this one I'm assigning to word three, the word skateboard. And then here, I'm assigning onto word two, word three, but only the first five characters, which happens to be the word skate. So let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see here that I have a word three is skateboard, and word two is skate, but because uh, strn copy does not add the null character, when I go to print word two onto the screen, it just keeps printing a bunch of nonsense because it cannot locate a uh, null character. So there's a way to solve that, and to do that, all you do is you can actually assign a null character, and you just say word2. Now I know what location I want my null character to be at index5 equals, and then the null character is just a backslash and the number 0. So here I actually, in order to use uh, printf, I just I say word2 equals word3, the first five characters, and then word2 at index5 equals null character, and then it will print, it should print onto the screen without any problems. So there you can see, so just to refresh, strn copy does not add the null character. So just a, a reminder, and I will post this uh, on Blackboard for you to have a look at it.